Hey, you down here? Well, check that out. Yep, that's my big ugly mug. But, how did it get there? This is my logon screen, and normally it's about one tenth of that size, even smaller. If you use, if you've ever used uh, Fedora, Linux, or Debian, looks quite a bit the same. Um, except for Fedora has, you know, your name already in there for you. You don't have to type it in, and then you type in your password down here. But I almost vaguely remember maybe setting some sort of image as my, uh, you know, user image at some point, but it never came up here before. And that's just a, as actually, you know, like a accidental double exposure. Well, it's not really a double exposure. Um, the camera I was using had, uh, I guess the light was low in the room, and so yeah, that's what it was. The light was low in the room, and so it uh, and it was on automatic, so it automatically did a long exposure, and uh, I moved. Actually, I believe what was happening is I was walking. Uh, I think I set it to take an automatic picture, and then yeah, that's what was going on. I believe. I, well, maybe not. Maybe I was holding it because my head is really close. I was gonna say I, I remember this several years ago when I took a bunch of pictures and I set it up and did an automatic take, you know, and I'd walk back over there, had like 10, 15 seconds to walk back over there and get in front of the curtain and do the pictures. Did a bunch of them and I might have been holding it. Could have done it on accident. I might have accidentally hit the button because I was over there by the curtain. That's the fan that used to be sitting on top of my t that's my TV there. But. Uh, Anyway, it was, I thought it was kind of cool, so I ended up using it as a icon, you know. But this is a big one. This must have been the original. So I'm going to put the camera over here best I can. And because uh, I can't type holding the camera the way I was holding it, it's going to be crooked off to the side, but that's all I can do. And get set here. Probably end up picking it up again in a minute, but I thought that would be better than you trying to type with one hand and hold the camera with the other. <clears throat> See what happens when it logs in. It's never happened before, ever. I've been using Fedora Linux since 2005. This is 2016. And uh, this is Fedora 23, by the way. Which is now uh, end of life, like this week. And so I got a, they got 24. It's been out on, I guess, a year now, and then 20. And I never had upgraded to it, and 25 is, is out now. And it was in beta last in the summer, but I think it might be officially out now. So one of those is I'm gonna have to go ahead and move over to that. With all, I got several systems I need to do that with two at least. Some of the other ones are too old that I have to run. I'll probably run Debane on them. I got Debane on my old laptop already, but uh, Debane uses less resources. Okay, so log in. Let's go in here and see if I can remember. Probably, let me see. Hardware. Network connections, look and feel, appearance. It, it, it was something to do with the user. personal about me I think that's it okay I'll go into those two about myself Adobe why is that in personal assistive technologies input method selector password preferred application start start with about me okay you can change your password there oh look we get an SC, SC Linux denial of, of service I'm not denial of service I hit show so I can find out if it's got anything to do with what I'm doing but there's no picture there select your photo see there's nothing there maybe the one I selected was too big and maybe there's an update that caused it that's what I'm guessing maybe there's an update that caused it to show up on your logon screen but I won't uh, I'm gonna close that so I can get in here let's see troubleshoot okay attempt this success wake alarm okay yeah there's two or three of them that's been happening I mean, it's already awake, so why would there be a wake alarm? That sounds like something to do with BIOS. I'm not sure what it was. Um, doesn't say a certain file. There's another one that seeks 
Wake alarm capability. If you believe that, oh, FD printed. Oh, this is it. FD print D. F FP. FP print. F. Okay. F print D. There we go. F print D. Should have the wake alarm capability by default. So I don't know what that is. It's was denied. It doesn't. Nothing's broken. I, when I try to print, it works. So SE Link's pretty complicated. And I've learned a, very, a little bit about it over the years but you know if something's trying to do something and you don't know what it is and what, I'm not going to allow it you know so until I find out what it is and if it's not bothering me then I don't mess with it okay now about myself okay name office I never filled any of that in I never do you can do that I, don't, I really don't you know I mean if somebody got into your system like from the internet somehow broke in then I wouldn't want that in there you know so I don't put that in there it might be useful at some point <coughs> I suppose if you had a network of I do have a network of computers but they're mine all mine I'm the only one that uses them so. but if you had like a you know business network or something it might be alright to put all the stuff like that in there so that uh, the, the IT people can know who it is that they caught uh, you know shopping while they're supposed to be working or something like that um Okay, so I, I don't know. I don't get that. <coughs> Let's see. Um, just about me and oh, let's see if there's something in the uh, administrative about the boot. Go to customizer. I don't know. Maybe I put it in there. That used to be a real good program. What else is in here? Print settings, download explorer. Okay, drug customizer. I put this on here. Used to be a real good program, and you could really customize your your boots, your grub, your boot screen, and all that stuff. Your your grub boot screen. But then they quit. Every time I'd set something in there, it wouldn't uh, work. It wouldn't take effect. So uh, I tried to use it to set something in here when I first set up this system. Show menu, look for other operating systems, boot uh, default after five seconds. Usually I like ten. Five is fine right now. I don't, I don't, uh, well I did have Windows 7 on here but it got infected uh, with me not even really hardly ever using it. Uh, evidently I had probably some c application I installed on three of my, I had three Windows 7 systems and they all three ended up infected. I think it might have been well, there was one webcam app that I installed on my laptop that threw off a bass. The bass said there's something wrong with it, and I took it out. But I think I, I took it. I tried tried to make sure I deleted it from all systems and all backups and everything. But anyway, something happened somehow. Could have been a network virus. You know, no virus that can crawl through the network. A worm is what they used to call it. Now they only talk about trojans, but because that's mostly what you run into. That's what I have is a bunch of trojans. But anyway, uh, I haven't reformatted that Windows 7 drive, but that's a different story. It's nothing to do with this. I don't use it, uh, and I'm going to reformat and just have Fedora on here so I can have more space on the hard drive. Okay, this is where you might, you would customize the boot. A normal font, light gray, uh, normal background, transparent, highlighted font, purple. Well, that's not taking effect. Font, background image, none. Okay. But the background image would have been what was behind that little blogging box, not the uh, not the uh, blogging box itself. The theme is uh, not none selected because for some reason it just quit working uh, on Fedora, and I don't remember. Here, here's my list of kernels that I have: Fedora for kernel 4a. SC23 at x86 64 and then you know, I always leave my other previous kernels in there in case something gets broken I can go back in there and then that one's rescue which no, just normally stays with all Fedora si systems now but uh, quit without an update yes even if you say update it doesn't work so how did that happen 
if I don't have it set. Let's see if I got anything else to do with booting in here. Unit booting, well that's for making a USB stick to boot live uh, Linux systems. And Grub Customizer, that's all I have in here. So, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to reboot and see if it comes up again. Is it still recording up here? Looks like it. Sometimes my camera app acts up and I stop recording when I don't know it. I'll just leave the camera up there. But, uh, yeah, that was quite, that's quite a surprise. So I know we'll think center that I'm on right here. Quad core with four gig of RAM. Now see there's my, I'm, whoops, I didn't hit it in time. I was gonna stop and talk about it, but anyway, if you get a glimpse of that, that was my, you could have booted into Windows 7, but it's in, been infected. I've, pr I've scanned it a couple times at least, but and that's probably clean, but I'm tired of messing with all that crap. One system that I wanted to save, I scanned it like 10 times and I finally just still didn't trust it anymore. I, I don't know if I ever got to where I didn't find anything. I think I got to the point where what I found didn't seem all that worrisome. Like it was real, like it was probably a false positive. Anyway. Then I reformatted it and put, uh, it had 32 bit Windows 7, and then I reformatted it with 64 bit, and the machine just doesn't have enough power. Not this one, the other one. It's a, I call it the AS Rock. It has a AMD 2 gigahertz with 2 gig RAM, is all it has. And it's, uh, and it's not even an Ethel on X2, it's like the cheap version of the AMD processor. It's not near as good as the next. I have a, a, one I built for my mom that's an Ethel on X2 with 2 gig of RAM, and it's fast. Of course, a quad core. I built a 6 core for somebody with 8 gig of RAM, and that was a fast machine. So that made me want to, I want an oct octa core, 8 core with like six, at least 16 gig of RAM. But it's there again. Okay, let's see if there's something you can set in here. Let's see, where are the settings? Sometimes there's stuff that comes up at the bottom that's not there now. Because there's where you can choose your uh, desktop. I have several different desktops on there, which I use Mate all the time. Uh, I didn't remember I had Enlightenment on there. That's kind of a neat desktop. Uh, large font, high contrast. That's like, for, you know, if you can't see good. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all you can do. Oh, and you can change your language. Let's look in there in a minute. I don't believe there's anything else to do but just select the language. I was used to, and oh, so I guess it was older version, there was something. Yeah, because uh, my mom's is running Fedora 14 still, which I need to upgrade, but. Uh, Firefox and the Thunderbird and everything gets upgraded automatically uh, within the programs themselves, like the operating system. So it works great, and, and I just you know haven't got around to fixing it, I mean, upgrading it. Actually, I'm going to save that because there's a bunch of apps that aren't available anymore in there. But um, yeah, hers had uh, the other day. It had some stuff at the bottom of the machine, you know, a little bar like this one up at the top. It had different options, like some of these options here down there. Is what it is. And uh, she's asking me about it. She didn't know what it was. Thought something was wrong, you know. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, how do I change that? I don't really want to look at that close-up of myself every time I log in. Maybe I should have clicked on that picture and seen if it would do something. I think about that. <coughs> maybe I'll have to go on Google and look it up. I'm thinking maybe... An, it was an update, you know, like yesterday or something that uh, have automatic updates set on it. And it, it might have caused that to work somehow. But it ha I mean, well, that place, you know, that spot where I, I was showing where you can pick a picture for, of yourself, maybe uh, it's too big to show up in there because, you know, a lot of times that would be like an icon picture, but it actually ended up working in here. Look in there again. Preferences. What is it? Look and feel. No, not look and feel. Personal. See if there's anything in there. 
I'll look at the parents and see if there's possibly anything in there. I think that's only for your desktop. Background, fonts. I want to click on background. It takes a while for them to come in. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't really need to click on that. Well, I have a lot in my background folder. But well, actually, I don't know if I have it added in here or not. I used to add all my backgrounds in my background desktop backgrounds folder. These that are showing here, they change. I don't use the standard background app. I use one, this one up here called Wallpapers. It automatically changes the background like every three to five minutes or something. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, go back in here and go to Personal About. It won't move. It won't move that window once it gets all the backgrounds in. Uh, you know, it must be. I mean, this has been happening lately. This so I don't know if this SE Linux uh, blocking that F print thing has got anything to do with what I'm doing right now. Probably not. But that right there. Let me wait for the mouse to get responsive again. That pisses me off. I'm gonna see if I can close that. It won't even close. That, okay, here we go. Stop that goodness. There, you almost got forced shut down. Okay, so yeah, fonts. All I was going to say is I, the default is something like 10, not 10 or something that's too small for me, so I use 11 is good. But you can do that in uh, Fedora, and I believe you can do it in Vane. It might not be the same looking app, but I know you can, but I don't remember how you do it. But, uh, you know, with uh, Windows, you you can only change to you like in certain jumps, you know, like small, not quite big enough, way too big. Well, you can set the exact font size in here. And so with Windows, what I used to do is just change the resolution so I could read it, which sucked because you'd have a usually a crappy. You go down to a smaller, lower resolution, but I can go the highest resolution and still get the font. There's a, I don't have the uh, monitor settings up there. It's 1080, 1920 by something like that. Biggest it'll do. Biggest the video card can do. The interface, this is what I was thinking. Let's see. Show icons and menus. I'll see. Show icons and menus. That would allow that to happen. And that's a menu I think that was on screen. Of course, like I said, this is really about just your desktop. I don't know. If, yeah, that's part of your desktop, I guess. That was on screen. So that might be, that's probably why the icon is showing, but where did it get the icon? Okay, close that. Back to personal. Okay, there's two things you can do in there. Change background. Well, it came up again, so it must have. Why would that come up right when I open this? I would print. I don't know. I'm not going to look at it again. Well, go ahead and do it. Yeah, F print D. Wake X uh, on this case. I don't know. Okay. There. Now that's where you would select it. Um, but it doesn't show you what, you know, if I did have one, then um, it didn't uh, hit cancel. If I did have one, I could change I could change to a different image and see, see if that's what's doing it. Let's go to my pictures. This is ordered in like newest. Just reorder it to ABC so I can find it. Evidently, I don't have my. I usually always have a folder called Don Best One, but I keep my best pictures in there. I didn't put that in here. This is a fairly new system, so. But this is all my pictures. I didn't rename that, so when I do my backups, I won't end up with a bunch of duplicates. Now let's go back to newest because those are old. Okay. I'm being kind of. Doesn't matter, does it? There. That way it's 
Well, that's an awfully big picture. I was thinking you probably don't want a really big picture. Where is that picture? I want it. There. There it is. That is 462 kilobytes. 600 by 600. That's probably the one that you want to use. So one of these really big pictures probably wouldn't work. Let's go by size now. 2.8 kilobyte. Okay, that's an icon I made for my website. There's a small one. Yeah, there we go. Small one of me of me in my truck. It would look better than that, my face up there like that. And these are very small. Forty-eight point one kilobyte. That's a little bigger. Yeah, six hundred by four fifty. Let's do that one. That's close to the same size as the other one. Oh, now, up. Uh, whoops. I see it, but it's only showing the snow. So it must be the wrong size. And now I need to do it again. by 44 let's see if that works yeah yeah it could have been that one the one that I was seeing see 50 by 50 yeah that one might have been what what was in there okay now it's too little but that might be all right let's just try that and reboot oh now my lucky backup is backing up and my drive I've been I set it to back up my um, to my uh, USB expansion drive my, I finally got me yeah, it's a what's a supposedly five terabyte but all you get from when it's brand new is 4.5 terabyte and I hate to uh, it's just calculating right now so I can I can cancel it so it is going to work Last yesterday I set it up and then I, I rebooted and it didn't work. But then I realized I didn't have it set right. Uh, I didn't have it checked. I thought I had it checked, but I didn't have it checked to uh, run. <laughs> had it all set, phone job set, for running that ten minutes after boot, and it didn't have it set to run. Okay, well that's the reason. I can't see my recording icon. There, yeah, it's working. Okay. You can leave it like that, and it'll fill up the balloon. That's what that is. That's a balloon. Doesn't look like a balloon to me. The old original one did actually look kind of like a balloon. It had colors and stuff. But or you can hit escape or something. And I think you can hit any key, but I always hit escape, and it'll show you the. The boot com the command line of the boot sequence, and if you ever have errors or anything, you can read them in there as they go by. I just woke up and still drinking my coffee. See, there is one thing that fails. What is that? Fail to start root file system auto resizer. I've installed that thinking it'd be cool to have, but for some reason it doesn't work. But I haven't tried to fix it. Well, I might have once, but it doesn't matter. Something's wrong. It doesn't work. That was it. Now, that's not bad. I like that. If I find some picture I like better, then uh, I can change it. But yeah, because you know, like on uh, Windows, you can pick your your icon for your user. So a little square image like that, a small square image, is what you need. That other one was a bit, obviously was the bigger one, like I said. It was probably the 600 by 600. 
But that other one was so big, it looked ridiculous. Let's, uh, oh! I'm gonna grab the camera and shove it all about. But now that's more like it. I can't get the whole, well, that's pretty much the whole, yeah, that's the whole thing. So that's nice, and, you know, that's a normal size. So, uh, I'm hitting my keyboard tray. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Mystery solved. But I don't know why it didn't show up. I guess what happened was when I set it, it didn't show up because it was too too big to show up in that preview of that uh, app that you set it with. But it was still, at some point it decided to work. I mean, it never did work. I did that probably last year sometime, not long after I had probably right within a, few, a week of when I installed Fedora 23, which is about a year ago. So, uh, there we go. So now you can, I guess you always could, but I never fool with it. I know you always could, I just never fool with it. Um, you pick the right image size and everything. That's a JPEG, and JPEGs work. And you can have a little boot icon there. I mean, a user name, user icon. All right, it's done. Uh, there, there we go. Bye.